This is the RS-28 Sarmat, the world's most powerful and longest range intercontinental ballistic missile. It can reach targets anywhere on Earth in less than 30 minutes. Capable of delivering 10 to 16 nuclear warheads to any point on the globe, this missile has a yield of over 50 times more powerful than the little boy bomb dropped on Hiroshima. This extraordinary speed is a key factor in its effectiveness. Today, we're going to dive deep into how this powerful weapon actually works. The RS-28 Sarmat ICBM, known as Satan II, is a formidable weapon in Russia's strategic arsenal. It officially entered operational service in September 2023 as the world's longest range and most powerful ICBM system. The missile is 35.3 meters long and 3 meters in diameter. And here's a comparison. Here's how it stacks up against the size of an average human. The missile can be stored in underground silos or mounted on mobile vehicles, always ready to launch at a moment's notice. But launching it is no simple task. It starts at the highest level with the president or military leaders deciding when to launch based on strategic needs. Once that decision is made, a secure launch order is sent to the launch control center. This order is encrypted and requires verification. At the launch control center, officers receive the order and verify it using secure codes. Both codes must match before the process can proceed. Then, the target coordinates are entered into the missile's guidance system. This system calculates the best flight path to reach the target. Next, two officers insert their keys into the launch console, and on a coordinated count, they turn their keys simultaneously, arming the missile and activating the launch system. The system performs a final readiness check. Once everything is good to go, one of the officers presses the red launch button triggering the automated launch sequence. The missile's guidance system is like its brain. It controls the missile's movement, ensuring it follows a predetermined flight path, sending the necessary commands to guide it to its target. This guidance system is critical to the missile's operation. The first stage engines ignite. The missile lifts off from the launch platform, following the programmed flight path towards its destination. In these initial moments, the missile uses a gimbaled engine to steer. This engine pivots, changing the direction of the thrust, allowing for precise adjustments in the missile's trajectory. At two minutes, the first stage separates at an altitude of 50 kilometers, 31 miles, reaching speeds of over 12,250 kilometers, or 7,612 miles per hour. That's Mach 10. Immediately after, the second stage ignites. Each stage has its own engines and fuel tanks. At 10 minutes, the second stage separates, and then the third stage ignites. During the mid-course phase, the third stage propels the missile to an altitude of 1,000 kilometers, 621 miles, cruising at 24,500 kilometers per hour, or Mach 20. As the missile enters space, gas thrusters take over for fine-tuned control, releasing small bursts of gas to adjust its orientation and trajectory. At 30 minutes, the missile reaches the re-entry point. The third stage separates, and the MIRVs, or multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, are deployed. Each MIRV contains a nuclear warhead, a guidance system, and a propulsion unit, and is programmed to hit a separate, independent target allowing the missile to strike multiple targets simultaneously with devastating precision. 
As the MIRVs re-enter the Earth's atmosphere at 100 kilometers, 62 miles, they use advanced guidance systems to make final adjustments, ensuring they hit their targets with pinpoint accuracy. Upon impact, the warheads detonate, causing massive destruction with immense explosive power and catastrophic results. The RS-28 Sarmat, with its ability to deliver multiple nuclear warheads across vast distances with remarkable precision, represents one of the most powerful and complex. In a world where such weapons exist, it's crucial to understand the power they hold and the responsibility that comes with them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified when I release new content. For more updates and suggestions on future videos, check out Learn From The Base on social media. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new, and I'll see you next time.